Let me take you for a tour and show you how these features are incorporated into the user interface. This is the welcome window for PyManual Logger. If we go to Manage Tours and open our tour, Experiment Results, we can see the tour info here on the left pane. In this pane, we can do things like scheduling our tour by clicking on set we can open the scheduling window and schedule the frequency of our tour which can be done hourly or at any other desired frequency the tags for which I am collecting information can have independent frequencies for instance if I am collecting vibration data for a pump and temperature data for the same the same pump those two tags can have different frequencies I can collect vibration data every six hours and temperature data every 12 hours so I can set the frequency of each tag so that I only collect the temperature data for every other tour under tour options I can select options such as requiring the approval of the data in this case a group can collect the data and a different group can receive and approve the data that was collected I can uncheck these options so that the data collectors cannot send data to the Pi server until that data has been approved. By doing so, I can establish a workflow and data approval for my tours. Manual Logger can also validate the data that is being collected by establishing lower and upper limits on the data that is being collected. In addition to that, I can establish actions that are required if those limits are exceeded. Some of the required actions may include a required signature or a required comment on the limit that was exceeded. In addition to the data and the values that I enter, I can also enter comments concerning the data that I am collecting. Manual Logger also includes a message log that includes information on all of the data that was changed since the tour was last performed. I can also view tag history and trending in manual log for all of the tags for which I am collecting data for I can also organize my tags in this case the tour only contains one tag but if there were several I could create different groups under which my tags could, could be organized. Now with these different groups I can move my tags into each one of these groups or any one of them. 